like. All right. Now, it's important, guys. I said that we can only do synthetic division. We can only do synthetic division when our divisor is a linear binomial. The reason why this works is because this is a factor. And if you guys remember, um, well, this is your divisor. Now, if the divisor div evenly divides into it, we call it a factor. Right? And let's think about that. What are the factors of 6? Anybody? 2, 3, 6, and 1. Why are those factors? They evenly divide into the number 6, correct? Right? So we call them factors. So if x plus 3 evenly divides into this polynomial, it's called a factor. OK? That means if the remainder is 0, it's called a factor. However, we have another meaning of factors. Do you guys remember if I give you like a list of factors, you know, x plus 1 times x minus 7, and I have that list of factors equal to 0, what can we now do from here? We can solve by using the zero product property to find the solutions, right? Or the zeros, or the real x-intercepts, correct? Right? So we just use zero product property. And we'd say x equals negative 1, x equals 7. So when we have our factors set equal to 0, we can solve to find the zeros or the real x-intercepts, or the solutions of the equation, whatever, whatever really the question is asking. So that's why it's important to have a linear factor. Because if this is a factor, if, I wanted, if this is the factor, if I'm going to assume that this is a factor, then what's the 0? What is the solution? If that's the factor, what would be the 0 of the equation? Negative, Negative 3, right? You just set it equal to 0, and then solve which we call the 0, or the solution, or the x-intercept of the equation. right? So that's the difference between the 0 and the factor. You have to like, know the difference. The factor is what you would like, set equal to 0 and then solve. So when doing this, now our, just real quick, do you, guys remember, do you guys see how this would have two solutions? Or let's do it like this. Do you guys see how this would have two solutions? Because taking the square root, you have plus or minus. So you'd have two answers. So that's why synthetic division only works when you have a linear factor as your divisor. All right. So what we're going to do when doing synthetic division is you're going to take your 0, and then you're going to take the coefficients. OK? So what was our 0 that we figured out from our factor? We figured it out to be negative 3, right? So you put the negative 3 right here. Then what you do is you put the coefficients of your dividend. Again, make sure it's in descending order. If it's not in descending order, you're not going to get the problem right. So the first coefficient is 1. I don't have an x cubed, right? You have to include a 0. So make sure you account for every single value in standard form. So 1, 0 negative 2, 8, and 5. Before I show you the process, is everybody OK with how I set up the problem? We're good. I haven't lost anybody yet. Just make sure the most common thing, most common mistake, do you guys see how these are opposite signs? Right? Most common mistake is everybody just takes 3 and puts a 3 there. No. Whatever your factor is, Set it equal to 0. Because ladies and gentlemen, my divisor could be this. It could be. So that would be my 0. So make sure whatever your factor is, you set it equal to 0. We'll do some of those next class period. All right, so now the process goes like this. The first term, you bring down. It's called a freebie. It's the easiest one. Everybody should get this one. One, bring down the first term. That's it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply on the diagonals, add on the vertical. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 is 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Then multiply on the diagonal. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Add on the vertical. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. Multiply on the diagonal. 
7 times negative 3 is negative 21. Add on the vertical. 8 plus negative 21, negative 13. Multiply on the diagonal. Negative 13 times negative 3, positive 39. Add on the vertical. 9 plus 39 is 44. Now, if you guys notice, if you guys look at this answer, this answer doesn't look the same as that, right? But they are kind of similar. What you guys notice is these numbers are the what of that answer? The coefficients. So now obviously it's nice because you guys know what the answer looks like. But if you're doing synthetic division, you won't know what the answer looks like. So we have to kind of create a chart. What I always like to do is start with, so basically we're just going to write it in standard form. The first number is r, which is your remainder. So if this was 0, would that be a factor? Yes, because it would evenly divide into it, right? So it's not a, not a factor because we have a remainder. The next one is our constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic. And we could keep on going higher and higher, right? If there's a bigger problem? Yes? No? So now we just write our answer like this. So we have 1x cubed, which is just x cubed, minus 3x squared, um, plus 7x minus 13 plus my divisor, oh, or my remainder, over my divisor, which is x plus 3. Over the divisor. Yes, your factor. But it's not a factor, though. Why is it not a factor? Because you don't have.